Thank you and good morning. It's a real pleasure to really welcome you here this morning and, and really celebrate and recognize one of the founding principles of Fujitsu's nearly 80 year history and it's, it's based on innovation. And much of what Sasa-san was talking about earlier and, and a lot of what you'll see is some of the incredible innovations that we are working on with something north of two and a half billion dollars a year of, of R&D and innovation development and creation of new ideas, new technologies, um, new insights. And it, it's pretty amazing. And it, it was funny as I was pulling up <clears throat> this morning and, and went through the security, um, I, I was struck because one of the guys said, now, I, I don't know the company. Is it something to do with jujitsu? <laughs> And, and I, I'd never quite thought about it, and I said, no, I, I don't think so. But at, at 50 billion, roughly, of revenue, 180,000 people, and, and activities in something approaching 100 countries, it might have something to do with jujitsu somewhere, but not that I'm aware of. But, but one of the great challenges and opportunities for us is, how do we bring that kind of capability and those innovations and those new technologies to the market? How do we commercialize them? How do we apply them? How do we help our clients solve some of the biggest challenges and opportunities that they have in front of them? And that's, that's the power of Fujitsu. And, and in many ways, one of the obligations that, that I have along with my America's team it is really how do we accelerate and augment innovation? How do we bring in partnership with our customers help them seize new opportunities. And again, in many ways, they're still trying to solve problems of 10 and 20 years ago while advancing rapidly to, to a dynamic, dynamically changing marketplace. And, and that's one of the things that we struggle with every day is helping them for today, preparing them for tomorrow, and doing it with more and more technology, more innovation, um, and trying to strive to do it more seamlessly without borders, across many different peoples and cultures. And one of our great aspirations here in the Americas as well as around the world is to operate and act as one Fujitsu and really bring the power and the breadth and the capability of Fujitsu from anywhere in the world here to this market and be able to do it and serve our clients in a very seamless, very fast paced motion. And that's one of the themes that I hope you get out of today's event, which is how do we work together very collaboratively? You could see in Sasu-san's roadmap and history, we have been a highly acquisitive company. So over the course of many, many years, we have acquired something north of 500 companies around the world. How do you integrate them? How do you bring them together? How do you make that a success story going forward? And how do you take a small idea somewhere in the world and make it a very powerful, transformative kind of idea that you can really bring to the market. And my hope is as you go through the day and you look at the technologies and the people and you just see some of the incredible brain trust that's represented within Fujitsu, it sparks an idea or a discussion or a thought of how to apply it somewhere. Because that, that is really our mission, that's our objective. And as we work closely with our colleagues from Fujitsu Labs, as well as from the R&D centers around the world, that is what we hope to bring to you today. And we hope that you would join and participate in that with us because innovation is hard work and it can't be done in isolation and it can't be done in a fragmented fashion. It's really working very closely with, with customers, with colleagues, with partners, that we really bring that forward to this marketplace. And, and I think to do anything less than that is going to really limit or stifle the ability to solve some massive problems for companies and for countries and what they're facing today. At the Fujitsu Group, we recognize too that harnessing this innovation and acting as one Fujitsu is really hard work. And with that in mind, we're going to be more focused on connecting, challenging, and inspiring each other. So connecting with each other. This is one of the kinds of activities to connect. And, and hopefully, as you think about what you're saying, you connect with us. The other part is challenging status quo. How do we move from historical practices that we're all steeped in to moving forward in a very different way and challenging the world with 
a very different way to solve a problem or look at a, a situation in a very different manner? And then how do we inspire each other? And I, I think today what you're gonna see are some amazing new developments and insights and capabilities that at the very least hopefully will inspire you and will spark great ideas of how would you see that being applied in your company or in the marketplace that we serve. So with that, I thank you for your time this morning, for, for joining in the discussion with us and being part of our journey and our vision. And I hope you enjoy the day. And so now let me turn it over to Mr. Hamada-san. Oh, no, back to, back to Richard. No, no, I'm, I'm just going to do a handoff. You did it perfectly, Bob. Thank you, Bob.